Welcome back for another Door King Tech Tip. Let's get started. Open up your Door King 32 Account Manager software. With the Door King software open, today we will be learning about transactions. Transactions are the log files of when a tenant is called or uses a code, card, or remote to open a door or gate attached to the Door King system. To start this process, we must first receive transactions. To receive transactions, click on Receive Tran in the top toolbar. In the Receive Transactions pop-up window, select your account and then click OK. Once the transactions have been successfully downloaded, close the session status window at the bottom by clicking Close. Now let's view the transactions. Click the plus sign next to your account. With the account folder now open, click on Transactions to view all the transactions we just received. On the transactions page, it will display the last 8,000 transactions or the transactions since the last time you received them from the system. There are nine columns across the top. The first column is the transaction number. As you can see, I only have 13 transactions. Next, we have the date and time column. The date is the day the transaction was recorded and the time is when it was recorded. The event column tells us what happened. There are many things that you may see here. The common ones will be directory, which means someone called a resident from the system. Others could be entry code, which indicates someone used a four digit code on the unit, or cards, would be a card or remote was used to open a door or gate. System indicates something that was pre-programmed like a hold open, and the open request, which is an input across the postal switch on the circuit board. The NUM column is the number of the directory the visitor called, the code they entered, or the card and remote they used. The name column is where you will see whose directory was called, whose card was used, if the data was sent, which is download data, or received upload data. The access column tells us if the person was admitted or denied access when using their code, card, or if the person denied access when they were called. The relay column tells us what relay, door, or gate was open or denied access for that line's action. The APB column stands for anti-passback. Here you will see violations of anti-passback. This will be covered further in a later video. Thanks for joining us for an introduction to transactions and we'll see you next time for more dorking tech tips.